which is not great, but it'll get the job done. So here I create the factor for silver, sil, and use the factor command, and now I list the vector. As in I just list these things, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, C, enter. Oops, sorry. Now the second way I'm going to show you uses the generate levels command and it, I'm going to do it by because I've spotted it pattern look. First you've got the A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, notice if that C was an E then we could use the GL command and have this pattern repeated twice. So what, and then notice for the second grouping A, B, D, A, B, A, so again this is similar I could have A, B, D repeated but then just edit this final one replacing D by A. Similarly for here, I repeat A, B, C, D, E twice and then just replace the final one, replace C for E. So let me show you how to do that in case you're interested. Alright, so for the A, B, C, D, E repeated twice, I have this, so five levels. Case Number of cases in each level, one. And I want this repeated twice, so two lots of this makes a total length of ten as explained in the previous video for balanced design. Do the same for the second grouping. Let's call that T. Now both these are factors. Well, let's look at it. S, T. So we can see the patterns. We're going to later replace these numbers by the actual ABC uh, alphabetical num uh, alphabet. I'll do it right now. So now I'm going to create my factor. Let's call it silver. It's a factor. Use the factor command. I create a vector combining S and T in that order and then I'm going to label them in this order A, B, C, D, E. Oh. oh sorry I made a mistake this is good I made that mistake. Uh, remember R is case sensitive big C is different to little c. There you go. Now I have the pattern A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, D, E, A, B, C, A, B, C but I a, B, C, D, E, but I have to edit this second set. A, B, C, D, got to edit that E for, for C. I've got to change it to C. And then the final one, I have to change uh, A, B, D, A, B. I've got to change A to D. And this thing here, first, first I'll change this one, is in the tenth position. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So for my factor, silver. 10th position, let's convert to C. And then just a parallel, let's change this one. 16th position is the final one. But I'm going to change that to A. Now let's look at it. A, B, C, D, E. A, B, C, D, C, A, B, C, A, B, A. Aha, so I'm not quite done. A, B, D, oh, I've got A, B, C. So let's change that C to a D. And now if you just check this with this, they match. Fantastic. And I uh, hope you're feeling a sense of satisfaction as you're doing this. The final step is to create the, the data frame by combining these three vectors together. Okay, so put them together we use data frame or which is same as as dot data dot frame. Data frame and then these vectors put them side by side. Notice we don't have to use the C command here to combine to concatenate command. I'm going to call it poison. Look at it. Fantastic. So this thing matches this thing, but well, I've got labels here as well. And now it's in the long form because all my DV, my measurements, are stacked into one column, and my factors and levels of the factors are in separate columns. And now this is ready for ANOVA analysis. So my students, I give them, we give them the data just like this, 
they don't know how we get here but uh, if you watch this video now hopefully you appreciate there's some work to be done to get it in this format so I've just shown you how to get the long format for uh, an experiment which is which has an unbalanced design